a lot of students struggle setting up hypothesis test properly. I have three tables which have helped a lot of students in the past. I want to share those and these tables will be in your materials. The first step in doing the setup for hypothesis test is to read the word problem, if it's a word problem, carefully and look for key words and phrases that will help you convert the words into the symbols, the math operators that you need to state your null and your alternative. Here I've listed verbal statements and these are for the mean but it could be for the proportion standard deviation variance and commonly you might see something that the phrase is is greater than or equal to a value is at least that value is not less than that value no less than that value all those things mean that there is a greater than or equal math operator in the claim and the claim thus has to be the null. Remember that the null always has a form of equality in it. The greater than or equal, the equal, or the less than or equal. The alternative always has to be the complement. The complement of the greater than or equal is the less than. The complement of equal is not equal. The complement of less than equal is greater than or equal. So you can use this table and find these keywords and key phrases, find them in the table, and it will pretty well guide you. If you see is equals to, that means the claim is the null. If it's not equal to, that means the claim is the alternative. Is at most k means it is less than or equal, so that's a null. Exceeds k is above k is a greater than symbol, therefore the claim would be the alternative. Once you have your, your hypotheses stated in math terms, you look at the alternative hypothesis math operator. If it's a less than symbol that's pointing to the left, that means that it's a left tail test and to find your critical values of z or t you put all of alpha in that left tail. If the operator in the alternative is not equal that's a two tail test and you put alpha over two in each of those two tails. If the math operator in the alternative is a greater than symbol Remember, it's pointing to the right. That means it's a right or upper tail test. And alpha over 2 would be in that tail of the test. The last table is helpful when you are getting to the point where you've got to draw your conclusion. And the thing I see a lot of students confuse is they can get the decision whether to fail to reject the null or reject the null but then they will not state the conclusion properly. If the claim is the null, remember it can either be the null or the alternative, if the claim is the null and you fail to reject the null, you should state the evidence is not sufficient to reject the claim because the null was the claim. If you reject the null and the null is the claim, your conclusion be the evidence is sufficient to reject the claim. If the claim is the alternative and you fail to reject the null, that means you don't have enough evidence to support the claim. If you do reject the null when the alternative is the claim, that means there is sufficient evidence to support the claim. So keep these three tables with you and use those to help you set up the hypothesis to determine the tail of the test and to find the critical values and then once you know which hypothesis is the claim you can, and your decision you can come up with the conclusions from this table.